Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? I am doing really good. I am back today with a kitchen table Dollar Tree haul again for you guys. Me and hubby made a little trip over to the Dollar Tree and picked up some pretty awesome things. So as usual, I'm sharing it with you. We picked up some of these hash browns. We have had these before and they are so good. They are the Macaulay's brand field to table diced hash browns and it is a one pound bag which I think is excellent. These are so good. Just throw them in a skillet with a little bit of melted butter, some salt, pepper, whatever you would want to throw in there, spices. Delicious. For breakfast, for supper, you can make hash brown casserole and one of the things I like to do is get their cans of the chicken a la king, the, the um, Swanson chicken a la king. Put it over your hash browns after they're fried. So, so yummy. And they also have French fries and steak fries in this Macaulay's brand. They're delicious. Picked up, these are the only two freezer items that we picked up this time. We got the TJ Farms, the seasoning blend, the onion, celery, red and green bell pepper, and parsley. Already mixed up for you. It's so easy and convenient. And it is a 10 ounce container bag of these so good it says up here great for gumbo stews sauces you can just take what you need out of the bag and put the rest back in the freezer so easy and convenient if you guys are watching my daughter's channel the holistic homesteader she talks all the time about the himalayan pink salt and we do use it as well just not as frequent as she does but i want to get into the habit of using this salt. It is so much better for you. So we saw it there and we picked it up and it is by the Salt 84 Company. It is the fine, fine ground salt. It is a one pound bag and it says it's kosher, vegan, non-GMO. I can't read that because it's too small for me to read through the camera, but we picked that up. I'm going to start using that more often and because we picked up that, she has a beautiful grinder, and I do not. So I picked up a pack of their salt and pepper shakers. They're by Cooking Concept, Cooking Concept, and it is a two-piece. They're glass with the, I'm sure they're tin tops, but just the basic salt and pepper shaker. Grab that to, to put the salt in. You can get anything at the Dollar Tree, guys. And I was hungry when we went there and saw these and grabbed them. Yes, you can see it's open, and but it's still a full bag. I just nibbled on a couple and that was it. These are the combos, the Pizzeria Baked Pretzels. And it's a three ounce little package. I was hungry. You know what they say, don't ever go shopping when you're hungry. And I did, but I was getting kind of shaky. So I just grabbed some of those. I figured this would be a, a little bit better for me than a candy bar, right? <laughs> So, but it's still more or less full. So I'm just going to swing around this way. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy, guys. Hubby grabbed these. We're going to throw them probably in the Toys for Tots bin. I cannot remember which ones we had picked up before. So we picked up these. And we got the forklift. And it is 80 pieces in here. And you build it yourself, kind of like the Lego version. But these are theirs. This is the best lock. And it says they are compatible with the with the Lego brand. And there it gives you the dimensions and everything. And it shows you how apparently the, the lift goes up and down. So we grabbed one of those, the forklift. We grabbed the Army. And this is the tank. It is 79 pieces in this one. Let me grab that. More things to throw in the Toys for Tots bin. And it shows you that the um, the gun on the front swings around. I think that's pretty cool. And these are by Greenbrier. And then we picked up the fire truck. And it is 90 pieces in here. All kids love this type of thing. And grown-ups too, for that matter. But it shows how it, it goes up and down the ladder on the truck. Pretty cute. And I have no idea if the, the little person comes with it or not. We've never opened one of these up to see, but I'm assuming they do, but I don't know. If you know that, please comment down below. And they also had these floor mats. 
These are not the best quality, of course. Let me see if I can pick it up. And they do seem like they have a little bit of grippy on the bottom, but it would still scare me. I would put down a piece of that non-skid plastic stuff first. But they had different designs, different colors, but this is the one that really caught my eye. I thought it was so pretty in this mint green with just the very simple Happy Easter and the little flower detail, the little bunny. I thought that was really cute. So that's going to go by my front door, probably just to, you know, when you walk in the door to take your shoes off on. But I thought that was very cute. So I just grabbed one of those. Hubby saw these. I've seen them before in the store <clears throat> quite frequently lately. It is the Gildan brand. These are the men's polo type shirts. They are short sleeve, I believe. I'm going to click open. Yes, they are short sleeve. We have seen them, though, in very the bigger sizes, like 5X. i have never seen them in a smaller size. But these, he found this. He only got one. Found this one in a 2X. So he did grab it and wash it up, see if it shrinks, but it is the premium cotton is what they say. And it's in the very pretty robin egg blue color. So he just get, grabbed one of those. That's a great deal. $1.25 for a man's polo shirt, name brand. I didn't really check it over too well to see if there are any flaws, but I will here once I'm done making the video. Let me see, saw this cute little guy. I got two of the white bunnies and I found the brown bunny. And I just think it's adorable. So I grabbed one, I'm sorry guys, trying to, you see my little floor, my door stopper over there. But he's just cute. I'm gonna decorate him up as well with some of that ribbon. And I don't know if it's a he or a she, but he has pink ears, so I don't know. But he's just adorably cute. So I just grabbed one of those. And then up front, when you're checking out, they had some of these, and I thought these would make great Easter basket stuffers. I picked up one, it was in a unicorn case to put in their, their baskets, but they had the bracelet making kits. So I grabbed three for the three older grand ladies, and it comes with everything you need. It has all the beads, and it has the black elastic cord, and it even has an instruction book in there. So I grabbed three of these for them, and they were all the same. I didn't see any other colors or anything like that. So great Easter basket stuffer. So we're gonna move around to this side. They had all of these different chapsticks. I'm sorry for the glare, guys. These are the chapstick total hydration, and they had different colors. They're tinted. The one is peachy keen, that's this one, and it says moisture and tint, and it has a 15 SPF, which I think is great. You never see me buying too many of the lip balm type things from the Dollar Tree because I do make my own, but when I saw this, the Chapstick brand, I thought, why not pick them up? And if I don't use them, I'm gonna throw them in Easter baskets. But they had the peachy keen. They also had the pretty in pink. Same thing, moisture and tint, SPS, SPF 15. And then they also had these. They have the same, everything seems the same, but it's totally different packaging, if you can see that. Moisture and tint, SPS, why am I having trouble saying that? SPF 15, hydrates and protects, naturally sourced ingredients, and this was in the very berry. And then they had this one. It's almost the same thing, different packaging. And this one is in the Merlot. So I thought those were pretty interesting. So I grabbed that and then they also had this. I have never used a lip scrub in my life other than homemade, just made out of sugar. And this is the Chapstick Total Hydration Natural Lip Scrub. And it says exfoliates and smooths and it has naturally sourced ingredients, vitamin E, coconut oil, and it's the little twist top, little tub of it, and this is in the sugar plum. I don't know if that's just a color or if it is flavored, I don't know. And the same with these, I do not know if they are just colored or flavored, I don't know. If you guys know that, please let me know. So I grabbed those and I have no idea 
how many more they had. I was actually digging through a box, going through these. So yeah, if you guys know, let me know. And the manager, of course, she had to show these to me and talked me into getting two. These are the Hard Candy Fox in a Box. I have never seen the Fox in a Box. I know it's been out there, but I've never been able to find it till now. And I probably wouldn't have if she would have pointed it out to me. But this has a little scratch and sniff thing on it and it is vanilla frosting scent. And it is a baked, baked highlighter, marbleized baked highlighter. And it is in the color, I believe this is the color, it's 1341 Girl Boss. And it's a very light, light tan marbled, I don't know if that's coming across true for you or not, but, and it smells so good. And it has a little brush in there to apply. So I thought that was really interesting. So she talked me into getting two of those. And in the beauty section, I like to have these type of things on hand. These are the little razors that you help like trim up your eyebrows and things with. This is called the Eyebrow Shaper and Mascara Wand. And I like to use these wands, the mas Mascara Wand, to help shape my eyebrows or to go through after I put mascara on just to help separate my eyelashes. So I saw that and picked it up and it's by Sassy and Chic. And they had all different colors as well, but I just grabbed the one that I saw first. It, the color really didn't matter to me. And I also picked up another one of my favorite nail files. Don't mind my nails, by the way. I took off my poly gels and I'm giving them a break. But this is the Seven Way Nail Buffer by Sassy and Chic. And it tells you on there, each, each color is a different grit. And I really like to have these on hand and they last me a very long time. So I grabbed on one or grabbed one just to throw in with my nail kit stuff to have. I really like them a lot. They have they don't have their regular their brand of tissues in right now. I can't find them anywhere. So I grabbed another box of the puffs, simple softness, and it's 9296 two ply facial tissues. Grabbed a box of those to have on hand. I think I only have one box of tissues on the shelf. So I saw them and I grabbed them. They have the, the smaller little square boxes of tissues as well, but to me those just aren't a very good deal. So I try to pick up the bigger boxes. I wish they'd bring back their brand because I actually like them a lot. Okay, I showed you those. That's my little Dollar Tree candle right there. Picked up another box of these. This is the Care Us brand. It's the Value Kit Wound Care Kit. And it has 20 pads and tape in assorted sizes. And there it shows you all the different sizes. We picked up one of these a couple weeks back when we saw them, and I am so glad that we did. Hubby actually had surgery on his hand, and he was able to take the bandaging off here and just re, you know, clean it and rewrap it and everything. And this kit was so nice to have on hand. So guys, if you see these, grab them, put them in your closet, whatever, have things like this on hand. It, it worked well. So we grabbed one more of those. We still have a lot from the kit that we opened, but grabbed another one to have, why not? And we also picked up these, the Curad name brand, and this was the extra large bandage, and it says it has a four-sided seal. So it, it seals the whole way around the bandage, which I think is a great deal. And it says two times more absorbent and you got 10 in here and it's two inch by four inch. And his incision is on the palm of his hand. So this was great. Once he was able to take all of the heavier bandaging off, these work well just to cover it, keep it protected. So we grabbed a pack of those. That's just gonna be here if we need it. It's great to have things on hand like that. So that is my little Dollar Tree haul for the day. It was just very convenient for me to do it this way, just do it on the table like this today because we just came in the door and I decided just to throw it on the table and show you what we got. All right, guys, if you guys like this type of video, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. You guys are the best. Have a great day, everybody, and I'm gonna talk to you again here really soon. Peace.